really fascinating. Today happens to be Friday the 1st at 7 p.m. I actually got this camera perched up on my bike. What I wanted to be able to talk about today is about conviction. Conviction is going to be so vital in being able to make the decisions that determine your life, your end goals, the results you want to be able to create. If you're not convicted in your beliefs, it becomes really hard to be able to continue to pursue that, right? So today, I happen to have multiple conversations on me and my position and doing sales and understanding the marketplace and how to be able to serve them. And, and just a moment ago, I was so convicted in learning Chinese and how I would be able to, to tap into this marketplace. And now I'm just like, crap, man, I really need to revise my sales cycle, which is good because I was focused on that. I was focused on qualifying people. I was focused on, on being able to create a more determinable outcome to my sales process through shutting other people down rather than taking and wasting a bunch of time and losing it throughout this grind of not getting anywhere. You got to qualify people. And now I allowed a, a slight leak into my brain as for, hey man, you know, maybe coaching for me wouldn't be the best idea because I happen to know what the marketplace is like. I happen to know that there's an abundant amount of coaches out there who aren't setting the example. People who aren't creating the results. They're holding themselves back. It's like a therapist. They're holding themselves back from being able to obtain that change within them li their lives. So then they find the treatment to go out and help cure other people. And it just doesn't work that way. You got to do it for yourself before you do it for anyone else. So the fact of the matter is, for me to be able to make this transformation, this transition, to be convicted in myself, my beliefs, my desires, I have to be the absolute best at what I do. Everything I do. Not just in the sales space, but in the coaching space that I'm going to be moving into. The coaching market, it is very, very undervalued. Actually, it's very inflated, basically, for the results that people aren't able to create. People don't have enough clients. They don't have enough of a track record. If you can be able to create the results for other people to be able to obtain, then you're basically above certification. You're not only certified in being able to have that practical knowledge and experience, but you're also certified in being able to help people get the return on their investment. And that's what people are looking for. So in any end goal, game, responsibility, all you need is the return on investment to be able to weigh this decision is worth making. So if you can be able to believe in the product or the service, the person that you're going to be investing in because they have that abundance of results and productivity, then you're going to want to put your money there. You know, put your money where your mouth is, right? So for me, I got to delve into sales. I got to start hitting the books and following up with people every single day. Like I can't miss a day. And I got to be unreasonable in how I manage that and how I achieve my life, my dreams. So with this whole new perspective coming into the spectrum, it's really curious to me to, to continue to try different things and I recently had a conversation with my friend David now at the same field that tiny tree is where I took that other video facing this way so he challenged me two months ago on June 8 2018 and you know what to be honest my progress in meeting that three month challenge and being able to create a difference basically not a zip scratch nothing I haven't created the results through the actions I've I've striven to do and now it is the 10th of August Friday so I'm a little degraded if you can imagine us to have another conversation basically what he told me was 
if you are on a sailboat and you're trying to get to an island, the island is your destination, and your sail is down and you're trying to get it back up, but you also have a bunch of holes in your boat, you've got to fix and patch the holes in your boat before you can lift the sail to get to your destination. Otherwise, you're just going to sink. So that piece of advice is so strong and powerful because I think a lot of times we, we get so absorbed and lost in our vision, focused on the at present moment, that we don't see how that is not tied into keeping us afloat and continuing to progress in each and every day and every note that we take is going to affect every decision that we make. Long-term vision is great, but if somehow you're degrading yourself and you're, and you're not keeping yourself up and alive and well, I find it really hard to believe that you're ever going to get to the destination that you've set out to achieve. So, the fact of the matter is, if I want to continue doing what I'm doing, I've got to keep my boat afloat, I've got to patch the holes, I've got to repair everything, and then I can go, okay? Then I can set sail and take off to my destination. But until I get that solid foundation, getting real with my goals, my ambitions, and how I'm going about that process, none of it's gonna exist, okay? So that's why I've been taking the focus the time, the energy to be able to create this constructive means of doing just that. Tomorrow, I'll go ahead and uh, get some stuff printed out in the shop. So like, you know, Kinko's or whatever, my, my printer's out of ink um, at home. So I gotta go and get some stuff printed that I've been typing up. Um, I've got multiple things. I have a new schedule. Actually, I'm gonna rework that. Um, I have a list of things that motivate me to be healthy. Now this is the biggest blocker that I've had for a very long time, right? I have been unhealthy for a very long chronic period of years. So to be able to instill within my mind, my brain, my way of thinking, I am grateful to be healthy because, first one, my life depends on it. Simply enough, my life depends on it. Now that's the most hard hitting one out of all of them because it rings the most true. Number two through 55 are going to be all these other things that are tied into being happy and fulfilled mindset, right? So. Once I can be able to incorporate that into a deeper list of having a money mindset and producing to be able to achieve those goals, then all that can really happen, right? So all those things I can be able to utter every single day as in I am, a state of being, excitement, vigor to go after it. Not I will, not I want, not I at some point gonna happen no no no. I am it I live it I be the change and that's just simply an easy way to rearrange so I need to get my mind out of disarray I need to do this in a productive manner where I can be able to create things that I want and just thinking that that's gonna happen just writing these things is silly Right? You got to take the actions to it. You got to commit to it. You got to discipline yourself to do it every single day. Keep your head down. Stop talking. Start walking. Let's go and bring in the nitro. Actually, not super fast paced, but we'll drive. Hey, look, here's the deal. 
It's been about 10 minutes since I made that last video, the one that's gonna connect to the same day today. You know, I spoke of conviction being the make or break point. If you're not convicted on yourself, then you're not gonna be able to convict anybody else. You know where I'm speaking from now? Conviction, belief, desire. I hurt myself and I was gonna let myself cower and stay in that place. And that is absolutely not okay. It is an absolute disgrace. You cannot let yourself bury your head and go and submit in defeat and think it's gonna be okay. Not at all. What I am going to do is I am going to transition and change the coaching industry. Either I set the example through who I am, who I attract and who I work with, or I change my direction. Now, what's it gonna be? I wanna be able to set up this coaching academy. That's how I'm gonna do this. I know it's not a unique idea, okay? Because I see different things coming up all the time, but we're gonna change the education system. I'm gonna become the top tier coach, leadership trainer for all of this. And that's basically the most simple part of that idea and that formula to be able to create the success. And then there's gonna be all these other coaches in the industry on the internet who share their world-class programs and high ticket models that are going to be a part of this. And I can't see it any other way you know it's better when you do it together and you come together and you provide the best education and maybe you know with what you're paying there everybody gets a little cut and everybody benefits for every student that enrolls you know you can check out all the courses or it'll be individual who knows I think a collective perspective is really gonna be key you know my friend David he challenged me to three months two months ago now he's challenging me to three years Three years. If I don't change anything in three years, if I don't create any new results, that's basically the bet. There was nothing on the other end of it. Basically, he's telling me, you suck, and you're not going to do anything about it. From what I know, based upon what I know about you, you know, you're not going to take actions. You're not going to do anything that will change your life. You're just going to sit there. You're going to think you're doing something, and you're going to let your boat sink with you in it, and you're just going to keep swinging just keep swimming and then wrap that blanket around you that is the sail and just keep swimming just keep swimming till you drown I don't think that's okay man you know I think I got to take full responsibility and if I want to be able to set the example I got to be the coach I got to be the speaker and I got to close some deals and I am not closing this day feeling with any resentment for who I am and what I believe. We're gonna change some ideas, we're gonna tweak some things. We wrote our goals, we're writing some more things, okay? Actually, we didn't write goals. We're, we're gonna have to, we have plenty of goals, plenty of goals, plenty of goals, that's fine, okay? This goal is gonna be based around exactly what I need to be able to do to fix my health, how many different clients I'm gonna have to be able to work with, you know, calls, da 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 I already did that, but this is based on getting something done. I'm gonna have to have a series of procedures to get me back into alignment and, oh my gosh. We're gonna have to do it, man. We can't skip this, man. It determines the rest of my life and I'm gonna have to create actual measurable ways of creating that progress, that income to be able to do it. I'm gonna have to know exactly what it's gonna take. And I can't do that without not doing anything. I'm glad David had some time throughout his day to be able to come visit me. I'm glad he had some time to be able to speak with me. You know, accountability goes so far. You can only do so much on your own, man. You gotta have external forces. You gotta have good friends pulling for you. You know, they tell you you can't do something. That's a challenge. Take it, accept it. It's up to you, okay, to believe in yourself. I can believe in you, but you can only do so much if you don't have your own mental health, all right? Get in the game. Stay in the game. Don't ever lose your brain, your mindset. I tend to come back pretty fast, okay? I'm going to keep it like that if I ever get out of the attack, okay? You cannot have that head on your shoulders 
allowing nasty things to be able to leak into your brain. It's not okay. Don't don't allow the toxic poison. Okay? Don't allow it. Don't allow it, dude. If the industry doesn't change, then you change. The game entirely. Don't abandon ship. Fix it. You can do something. Solve it. Thank you.